Hey guys, it's Trimatai. Welcome to my channel. So today guys, we are jumping right into this video. I have already done my brows. We're now going with our body fantasies to freshen up the air and bring on the good vibes. Yeah. Today's eyeshadow look is a very simple everyday look guys for all those beautiful women who wear glasses. This is one of my free step eyeshadow looks that anyone can do. Today we'll be using this beautiful Nika K palette and going in with these three shades. For our first transition shade, I'm going in with this big fluffy brush to make sure I spread that color all over my lid. Now I do have a separate video on how to do your eyeshadow step by step. If you want to see this video, please click the link on top of the screen. I've heard amazing reviews and mostly everyone who has watched this video has actually learned how to do their eyeshadow. Next, you'll see me switch up the brush just to go in with that darker shade to intensify the crease color. Now I'm just going over the edges of that color with the first shade and just blending everything together. And my apologies guys for the changes in lighting in this video. If you stay to with the end of the video, you'll be most likely here to see the culprits. Trust me, stay tuned. For my lid color, you'll see me go in with this brush. Then you'll see me switch it up with my finger just so I could pick up more pigment from the eyeshadow palette. This look is indeed very simple guys, especially if you're wearing glasses. I tried to create some depth by placing the darker shades at the outer corner of the eye and on the inner corner, I replaced a shimmer so it can pop and you can see the eyeshadow at least through your glasses. Now if you've been watching my videos so far, you know that I am blessed with hooded eyes so therefore I am taking that lid color a little above my natural lid so I can see the eyeshadow when I look straight ahead. Going back in with that first shade and just blending everything together seamlessly. Now since you are wearing glasses, you don't necessarily have to go in with this step but I would like to. I'm creating a very very simple short wing and guys the trick to creating a wing is to just be patient and also balance your finger onto your balance your hand sorry onto your face so at least you have some form of support while drawing that straight line For those of us who have beautiful lashes, you can just go in with a volumizing mascara. For me, I tried, as you can see, but I have no lashes. So therefore, I will be going in with some baldy after the mascara. And if you do choose to go in with lashes as well, don't go in with these lashes. They're too long. Basically, they'll just be touching the lenses when you wear your glasses. So why would you do that? I'm actually going with these shorter lashes which are very very cute and they won't obstruct my eyesight thank you very much and guys please excuse my nails I know I see them it's the end of the week and I need to get them refreshed so please do not come for me now to move on to the face I've already moisturized now I'm going in with my mattifying primer and focusing this more on my t-zone area especially onto my nose you will see me go in with some translucent powder just to fill the matte that area. Reason being, this is where the glasses may touch the face. So during the day, some of the foundation or product that you have on your nose may rub off. 
Let's only that area is the product is most likely to stay there and not rub off on the nose pads of the glasses. These are what I mean by nose pads and guys I'm just learning this today. So if you didn't know, now you know. These parts are actually what leave the dark marks at the corners of the nose bridge. But I don't have these as much because I don't wear my glasses for long periods of time. To conceal any dark spots on my face, meaning those at the corner of your nose bridge and also under my eyes, I'm going in with this red corrector from LA Glow. I'm just going in with a little, not a lot people, not a lot. Going in with my foundation, guys, I'm applying it normal to the rest of my face, but on my nose bridge, I'm going in with little to no product, basically using what's on the brush already to cover that area. And that's about it. Going in with my concealer just to highlight my normal areas, but I'm not going in with too much since this is a very simple, light makeup look. So guys, how did I forget to mention that every single product that I will be using will be down in the description box. To ensure that my under eyes are looking very bright, I'm gonna go in and set with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. And to set, I usually just press the powder into my skin very lightly. the rest of my face I'm going in with this Milani powder in the shade warm today I'll be going in with a light powder contour since this is a very simple everyday look no cream contouring today If you have very small eyes or your lenses tend to make your eyes look very small, you can go in with a white eyeliner just to open it up. But if you have bigger eyes and you want it to look smaller, then you go in with a black. For me, my eyes are very bright and when I wear black eyeliner, they tend to give them that pop. So I'm using the black eyeliner today. Going in with this matte finishing spray from Ruby Kisses to ensure that my makeup stays matte throughout the day. Going in on my bottom lashes with that same mascara and guys as you can see my eyes are watering because they are so sensitive. I'm going for a subtle blush with that beautiful color from Juvia's Place. Then going in with my favorite highlight of all time from Colourpop.
You're gonna see me highlight my normal areas, but especially below my brow bone and my inner tear duct area, which can be more visible and apparent when you wear your glasses. This look is just so simple but yet so beautiful. So guys, this is my first pair of glasses. I actually wore this with a red lip. What vibes are you getting from this look? Let me know down in the comment section. This look is actually giving me high school teacher vibes honestly like i'm serious about my life like i know what i'm about honestly let me know what kind of vibes you're getting or if i'm just kidding myself but i find this look is just so beautiful what do you think please share your views guys let me know if you would rock this look how you would rock this look if you can rock this look with these glasses and this lippy tell me how i did i would love to know down in the comment section This look I love, it's absolutely flirty and fresh. I would definitely rock this with a white eyeliner, definitely. So guess who wanted to stop by and say hi to the people? Always up in my business would not give me time to record. Say bye to the people. I love this kid. That's cool on the beat. So guys, I included these few clips because they had better lighting. So you can actually see how this look came off with this pair of glasses let me know if you like this video let me know if you learned anything from this video guys and please do not forget to subscribe see you in the next one